there are many cases where you will not be able to take a time study. I mean, perhaps the job is not in production or you're looking at a new method or um, a new uh, process. In that case, we're going to use our quick times estimates here. Uh, quick times are based upon predetermined times. We give you all of the backup. You can do it for methods analysis and for estimating. And as you can see here, they can feed into the time study and also feed into the line balancing. But they're also available standalone directly from the uh, toolbox area of the main menu. I'm going to click click on the quick times methods analysis and estimating here. And that will open up a blank uh, sheet. And I'm going to bring that up and I'll open one up that we've already got out here. Okay, so what you see here in the quick times area is you see a description of the various tasks and then you have these little codes here. Now these are the quick times codes and here's the frequency, the minutes and the seconds equivalent to that. Uh, the way that it works is very straightforward as it says down at the bottom. You double click on a worksheet line to access the quick times generator. So if I wanted to add another step to this process here, I would go down to line 12. I would double click and that would bring up the quick times generator here. Uh, let's say the operator is walking, and he's walking so many paces. So let's say he's walking seven paces. The time for that is 3.78 seconds, again, based on the predetermined times that are built into the system. When he gets there, let's say he's going to pick up a case of parts. So now he's going to get a part. It's a heavy part because it's a case, and it's 12 inches away. Now the total time for that particular sequence is 5.04. And notice down at the bottom, it's building up the description of what the operator's doing. Now he's going to walk back, so we click on the walk. Now he's carrying the object. It takes a little longer to walk while carrying the object, so we'll see the same seven paces going back. And now he's up to 9.3 seconds. Then he's going to place it down. And he's going to place the heavy object, let's say six inches away. How heavy was it? Uh, let's say it was 20 pounds. Right, 10.7 seconds. Now right now, as you can see in the right here, we're using what we call our general level de data. This gives you uh, things like gets and places. If you go to the detail, it's a little finer. Here you get the reaches and the moves. It's a finer level of detail here. So I'm going to switch to the detail now because I want to align the, uh, the, the case. So align greater than 9 inches and then do some visual inspection, perhaps reading a label or something. So we can say visually inspect four points. So you can see in total here we get 14.75 seconds. Here's a complete description of the job here. And I'm just going to put a case here, a description in here, get case to work area. And we save that to the worksheet. Now that's now inserted into the worksheet here. It adds them all up, it gives you a total time up here. We've even added an allowance here. You can change this. Let's say you want to add a 12% PF and D allowance. That'll change the numbers. And what it's showing here is right now, based upon this work content, it's going, the operator's going to be able to do almost 80 an hour. Now, let's say the operator comes into you and says, he can't do 80 an hour, there's something wrong. And he asks you, what did you let me do when you said get case to work area? Well, you let him do all this sequence here, but no one can understand this. All you simply do is double click on the description and it brings it back up, and here's exactly what it, you let him do. So you're talking to him, you say, look, you walk seven paces, you get the uh, the case, and then you walk back the same seven paces. The operator says to you, hold on a second, after I've got the case, I've got to go back to the other end of the workbench, around the other side of the workbench. So here we've got a methods problem. So we need to change the method here. So to do that, we're going to click on the edit right here. And then we're going to click on the one that we're having the problem with, the walking well, walking back to the work area. So we're going to replace that, and we make another selection. So we say to the operator, well, how far is it then? And he says, well, it's got to be 15 paces. So we put 15 in here, click on the OK. <coughs> it instantly recalculates the entire sequence with that method change in there. So you can see he's now walking 15 paces here and gives us a new time. So if you look in the background, you can see that the previous time was 14.7 and now it's 19.6 so the additional walking is, is added to the time here now of course when we save that to the worksheet uh, this is going to be added up it's going to mean that you've got a longer cycle and less units per hour so this is how you can use the uh, quick times tool for estimating and for methods analysis